Hi, today I'm going to show you how to integrate Hubstaff with QuickBooks desktop version. So the first thing you want to do is to export a timer list. So you can do that by going to Utilities, Export, uh, Timer Lists. And basically what you're doing here is just getting two pieces of information. So um, what you want to do is just open that file up on the desktop right here. And then you can open that up with, with any text editor. Um, but basically what, what, what you're looking for here is just two pieces of information. You're going to take this information and import it into Hubstaff. So you can do that by going to Hubstaff and then going to the organization that you want, it, that you want to um, import the information for. And uh, you go to Edit. And then you'll see here this is information for, for this organization um, as it pertains to your QuickBooks file. So you're looking for two pieces. Uh, the first is the company name, and that's right here under company name. Um, you can see here that this is a tab delimited file, so the, the columns are a little bit messed up here. You're looking for company name, um, and you're going to input that right here in company name. And then you're also looking for uh, this company create time, and that's this number right here, this long string. So you take that number and you import that right here, so just copy and paste it. Um, right there and then you you want to also give us your uh, your QuickBooks version number in this case I'm using 2012 and then you basically just hit save so that will basically make it so that you can export uh, QuickBooks files from Hubstaff uh, Hubstaff now has the information about your QuickBooks company that it needs in order to give you an accurate download and now what you're going to want to do is to actually go in and export some information. So let's just say that I want to pay an employee. Uh, you can you can basically use this information for for two large things in QuickBooks. You can you can pay your employees with this time. So you can set it up so you can export from Hubstaff into QuickBooks and then easily pay via QuickBooks to your employees using their payroll systems and that kind of thing. And you can also the other thing you can do that's cool is you can invoice your clients. So this three hours, 15 minutes that was worked, maybe you have uh, a different rate for that that you can now invoice from QuickBooks. So in order to, to export to QuickBooks, you can go to team payments. You can do it two ways. You can do it from the detailed reports or the, or the timesheets team payments. So you go to timesheets, team payments in this instance, and then I want to pay from the 21st to the 21st, and I want to make a payment. So this is just an example, but you can see here that basically it was, I want to get to the number here real quick, 3 hours, 15 minutes. So that's the that's the the, uh, the the hours that will be paid out for. So confirm, and then what happens here is if I have the QuickBooks information imported into Hubstaff, you can, you're going to have a QuickBooks option. Otherwise, you would just have Excel and PayPal, and QuickBooks would be grayed out. But let's open this up. Now you can see that this is the, the timer activity for 3 hours and 15 minutes. We don't include the seconds here on these files that we export. So what you're going to see here is 3 hours and 15 minutes that we can now import into QuickBooks. So what we do now in order to import that information into QuickBooks, we can go to File, Utilities, Import, and it's not an IF file you want to import, even though, it, even though it's saved as an IF file. You want to import timer activities, so you import timer activities, and then desktop tab payment is just the default name. Now this is a warning that's going to pop up. I just hit OK here. It's a warning that's going to pop up. So it's going to. I only had one line item here in this instance. So basically, you're going to view report, and there's the three hours and fifteen minutes. So you can see that that's how you can do it. And th and then from here, you can go and make this a payroll item for that time. You can go and, and create an invoice and invoice clients. So you can do all these activities now in QuickBooks now that you have the time. Now, if I were paying from the 20th to the 26th, for example, I would have more than one line item, and each of those line items would show up as, as their own separate activity. And then basically what happens is that in QuickBooks, you would see those as different projects. We import all the project names, so you can see all of that information more detailed um, in QuickBooks itself. By the way, you can always get back to those exports by going to Pass Payments. So if you go to past payments, you can see that this this is the the export that I just did, and I can export it again to QuickBooks and get the same information. Now, um, the other place you can go is to the reports section, and you go to the detailed reports, and let's first filter by the organization that I have set up for QuickBooks because I don't have all my organization set up. And now you can see this export to QuickBooks, and so you can export to QuickBooks. This 
is going to give me a total of, if I export the way, 71, 71 hours and 28 minutes. So I can export here and open that file up, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is each of these is going to import in as their own line item with their own project. So you're going to have very detailed information for your clients or for your payroll, however you, however you want to do that. But obviously in QuickBooks, you can, you can sort and, and filter that however you need to in QuickBooks. So that's how you can work and, and integrate you know, Hubstaff with QuickBooks and look forward to your feedback. Thank you.